first of all, it's it's sad, and it was a tough decision, I think, for the Euroleague, for the clubs, for the players also. Uh, we wanted to finish the season, but uh, the situation is uh, different, and uh, this year the season uh, ended like that. It's it's sad, but we have to look forward, and we have to look for the next season. You know, the the situation is not the same in uh, in each country, and uh, for example, in, in Lithuania, it's it looks like it's getting better and better every day. But in other countries, it's still a difficult time. So the safety is most important, and uh, and uh, not only for the players, but also for the for the referees, for the people who who would help us uh, outside of the court, so for everybody, more or less. Uh, the season has been stopped uh, in, uh, how to say, most important moment and uh, most uh, interesting moment because uh, only six uh, regular season games were left and, uh, how to say, all the teams were playing their best basketball. So all the... Uh, all the all the interesting things just started then and back then and uh, and uh, how to say they have to stop the season that's that's the sad sad part i just want to to thank them first of all for the support last season and uh, i feel sorry that uh, we finished like that and uh, they didn't see the playoffs they didn't see the final four and the final and uh, what I can promise that we we will try to come back stronger and uh, I hope the game will be even more interesting. We want to show the fans that uh, we care about next season, uh, we care about our health, our, how to say, our practices. So we are working out and uh, we are preparing for the next season to to get back stronger and to show the, the best game we can we can play.